there's I don't know, less control over it. And I don't like that. I, don't know, I guess I would just like to be more in touch with what I'm working on. Uh, you know, I don't mass produce things. Um, I just make them. Uh, I like to use my hands and keep my hands busy. And so anytime if you guys and gals out there, let me try and adjust this camera. There you go. Now you've got my beautiful mug to look at. However, so let me turn off this light back here. Oh, so if you buy something I make, then you can pretty much bet that it has been in my hands for a long time. And I've been working on it for a long time because I've said it before and I mean it. I don't want to put my name on something unless I'm happy with the quality. And, uh, it's important to me, so. Um, I guess that's maybe another reason why I like to use my hand, my hands. Because I can feel what's going on, too, with what I'm working on. I, I can feel it coming to shape. And I just I can feel the whatever I'm working on, if, if I'm filing it, I can, I can feel it start to chatter in, in my hands. And I was using a machine, I'd just be putting it against there or, or, or whatever it, and it's burn and, and then oh my gosh take it away I just removed all this stuff I didn't want it to take off so uh, it's, you know but when I'm doing it by hand I can feel it that's that's cool to me uh, and and when I get done making something it's a lot more rewarding because I've been, I don't know how to say it without sounding weird, but uh, intimate with my work. So, yeah, I guess it sounds weird, but, you know, well, if you're thinking about it from a weird perspective, but I've been involved in what I worked on a lot more closely than a lot of people work on things. So, so I don't do any CNC machine stuff or anything like that. I work by hand and I spend a lot of time on design and all my calls I mean, some are similar, but they're different, and I'm constantly trying to come up with different designs that help the function of the call, if I'm working on a turkey call, or just the aesthetic appeal of it, if I'm carving some kind of uh, pendant or relief carving, I like doing relief carvings. If I'm working on that, I just trying to come up with new ways. And, and yeah, with the turkey calls, though, uh, I'm constantly experimenting with ideas to try to um, make them sound better. And, and look a little better said in my other videos uh, I've made smoking pipes and I, since I was a much younger man I 
used to read about and watch films and try and find out anything I could about pipe making and especially the Italian pipe makers and, and the, um, the Scandinavian pipe makers and they do a there's a lot of companies there where they're just one guy or a couple guys and do a lot of hands-on work and so I started teaching myself to do pipe making like that because I don't have a metal lathe and all that stuff so the pipe making um, a lot of the things I do for my for making smoking pipes out of briar wood a lot of the techniques and things end up being I use those for uh, on my turkey calls and other things um, and I'll show some of those other techniques and methods and things I do but that, uh, yeah, so a lot of the things I'm doing when I'm working on this other stuff are things I actually use making smoking pipes. And, you know, uh, so, but my thinking is that eventually somebody out there, uh, the right people, will find my work. Appreciate it, and they will be happy with it, and I will be happy to provide them with a creation that they can enjoy, and then I can have more of a reason to keep doing it. So. Hopefully get somewhere out there. And that's what's going on. I'm realizing I got a oh, big squirrel cage motor and a ladder behind me. So uh, I guess it doesn't look very suave. But if you've hung in there this long, 14 minutes and some, oh my gosh, I'm rambling. Then... You're not going to mind that I have a ladder back over my shoulder. And if you hung in there this long, I appreciate your time very much. And uh, and thanks for listening. And, and just, you know, I'm just kind of rapping here, talking. So thanks for spending some time with me. And uh, check out my Facebook McVeigh Originals on Facebook and subscribe, thumbs up, and comment, and all that good stuff. And I'll put out more content, and um, hopefully, somebody out there will enjoy it. So, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.